I'm Rhonda Hall. I am the behavioral interventionist here at Brookings, uh, Elias Brookings Elementary School in Springfield, Mass. I'm Karen Skrzynski. I'm a pre-kindergarten teacher at Brookings. And um, I service all the students in the school, uh, K through five, and our life skills kids. And I occasionally assist pre -K. <laughs> with the pre-K students. So I am blessed to see all of the students here at Brookings and interact with all of them. And if I could say um, one thing about our Brookings students, um, they are definitely following the Brookings way, which is respect, responsibility, courage, communication, and pride. They are rising to the occasion of um, just being the best students that they could possibly be. And I really do appreciate all of their perseverance even through difficult times. And that is what the Brookings Way is all about. And they're showing it every day. They're coming, they're facing their biggest fears um, because a lot of them are displaced. And uh, then we also had another mini uh, storm which scared them a little bit. But again, they stepped up to the plate and they, they've come into school. They're still ready to learn. They're still eager to learn. And we're just trying to help them uh, get through this the best way that they could possibly get through it. We know that they're always there's always going to be an obstacle for them. Um, even as adults, we face obstacles every day. But it's not it's how you weather the storm is what what our goal is and our 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 determination in teaching them is how to weather the storm. And they are doing a fantastic job, and I love them and. And the staff is doing a fantastic job, even though they are holding their heads up and being strong for their students. A lot of them also have like challenges just seeing the devastation and seeing what our students are going to go through and seeing the fact that some of them don't have homes and some of them don't have a safe place to lay their head down at night. So they come into school tired and they and but we have to be understanding and still get the curriculum done and still get them prepared for the next level of their lives. And that's what we're doing. I think one of the important things we've done is let them share their stories. Yes. They all get to either talk about it, draw about it, share it. They, some of the kindergarten students that I've been working with have talked about how the storm last night, how they were scared and their mothers were crying and stuff because the wind was blowing again. So. We're supporting each other and yes. listening to the children, listening to what their needs are. And that's what it's all about is when there's no I in team and there's no one of us who uh, stand out more than the other, the Brookings staff as a whole, our principal is awesomely amazing. We have uh, counselors who are awesomely amazing and they are just doing everything they, they can to support the students and the families of our community. And that's what we're doing. We're, we're pulling it together and we are making positive changes in their lives. Because right now their lives are turned upside down. But Brookings is the safe spot. Brookings is the safe place. And that's what we hold on to. Even if we're displaced and we're separated, Brookings is, is still a whole. We're still a unit. And we just we're just a unit that's... Separate. <laughs> and I think a lot of us are getting to know each other even more mm. by right. supporting each other and being in different rooms that we're not used to and learning, you know, mingling with all the all the children. Right. So right. We're, we're really supporting each other. And even staff have, have had some things that happened to them during the storm too that we have to support. Definitely. It every and this is a yes moment. What do you need? Oh yes. Yeah. This is the yes moment. How can so, I help you? How can I help? Oh, you can help me by doing this. Oh, yes. This is this is the time when when no gets thrown out of your vocabulary. How can I help? How can I help? 